Greetings and salutations, Johnny Mac Rocker Metal Plus. Um, got another quick video. Excuse me if I look absolutely shattered, because I am. Um, a busy week. Obviously, uh, as I said in the last video, um, just been to New York for a few days, so it's a fucking mental place, isn't it? Um, right. Um, if you're new to the channel, all right. Um, Don't forget to, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, all the usual stuff. Um, yeah. So I thought I'd do a quick um, update, some bits and bobs. I've been on a bit of a punk lock um, kick at the, these day, uh, this last few weeks for various reasons. Um, so in the background, we are listening to this, which is the exploited and the massacre which is obviously um uk um hardcore punk some of the later stuff was a little bit thrashy almost uh when this fucker come out is it, do i put, make a note of it mm, possibly 1990 yeah, we'll say 1990 anyway. Great stuff. Yeah, just UK hardcore punk. As you can see. Mohawks and leather jackets. What more do you want? Right. Um, you see by the title, um, I'm going to show some... I picked up a load of Plong stuff recently as well, since they started off as a UK... Yeah, no, they didn't. Um, New York hardcore band. I thought we'd uh, show some of their stuff. Uh, first up, we've got. I picked up a copy of. No, that's not first. This should be first. Primitive Aldogens, the EP. Take that sleeve. No. This is awesome New York hardcore. Black vinyl, as you can see. Uh, I said that's when they were like, obviously, Plong is uh, the vehicle of. Tommy Victor, um, vocalist and guitarist, he has some awesome lifts. Um, as a, obviously from New York City. Um, 1987, I think EP came out. Um, the track in my veins was um, lead on and put on the John Peel sessions, which brought me into a lot of people's uh, view. Uh, this is their first album, Full Fed, and the first full length, uh, Inner Sleeve. Really got this. Uh, and this one came out, 87 maybe? Yeah. Yeah, eight, mm, 88, maybe 89. So that, this is still fucking great. Um, Awesome stuff. Uh, Forgery, senseless abuse, force fed the track, title track. Awesome shit. Really good. This is also black vinyl. Hogan, that'll leave me no time. Um, what else we got? Uh, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Second album, um, the one that I think a lot was a lot of people's first. Long album. This is beg to differ with the famous Posshead cover. He did some stuff for Metallica and that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, great album. This. This is the uh, music on CD. I should like music on vinyl, but CDs, ofs. Uh, 
extended disc uh, back to day for 1990. Uh, yeah, it's when they were starting to get move away from some of the hardcore sounding, a bit more metal, starting to get that alternative sort of groove sort of sound. Uh, classic, obviously. Um, now I'd like to show you bloody um, cleansing, but I can't find it. Um, these are all stuff I picked up recently. The cleans cleansing I've had uh, for quite some time, you know, with an eyeball and the fork and all that. I haven't had that for, it's the only one I had for ages, but I can't find it. Oh, before that, third album. Thought I'd better show this. This is Poopy Long. Um, I actually had this off a uh, Metal Marty Mac, and I can't remember if I showed it or not. So. Cheers again, Marty. Fucking Irish legend, you. Great shit. Um, this has got, a, if I remember rightly, this has got a. Uh, yeah, I think Get a Grip is a Strangler's cover, if I remember rightly. Which moves nicely on to. Uh, I, we have a big gap because I, I thought I get earlier stuff and then some of the newer stuff. Um, I picked this up, which is the covers album from 2015 called Songs from the Black Hole. Uh, I'll leave the blurb off the hype sticker. Uh, features 10 undeniable cover, cover, undeniable cover versions. Of artists as I, as diverse as Husker Du, Black Flag, Sisters of Mercy, Killing Joke, Bad Brains, Fugazi, Discharge, Butthole Servers, Adolescence, and Neil Young. And yeah, uh, the for me the Sisters of Mercy track that they cover Vision thing is fucking awesome. I, I love the it's the title track from their third third album, and I love that album anyway. It's more guitar based. Uh, but yeah, this is really cool. As um, cover the albums go, this sounds brilliant. Uh, I like it a lot. So yeah, we're checking out. Um, probably my least favourite playing album is next, which was 2016's No Alternatives. Was it No No Absolutes? That's it. X No Absolutes. It's um, we tried it more. <sighs> heavier thrashier sort of sound um but i don't think it works as well it's still a good album the lifts are all there it's um it's it's a weaker long album you can get a fucking sticker with it which is you know cool it's, you know it's probably better than a lot of other albums that came out in 2015 if i'm honest um but it's just not my favorite long album Seem to be trying to uh try, trying to redefine the sound because i'd come back obviously um, and yeah, yeah, not the best. Uh, and we might as well go up to date with 2013's um, State of Emergency, which is a fucking beast of an album. It's almost back to the hardcore, the thin sound. Very, very good. Um, also, see the last track. It's a cover of uh, Lush's Working Man, and it actually sounds great. Uh, first three or four songs, just absolutely bludgeoning you to fucking death. Absolutely brilliant. So, yeah. Song's new album, State of Emergency. Booklet. Oh, it's even got a poster in it, which is huge. Yeah, that one side. See the album cover? I'll Obviously, not on the other side, which is maybe cool. Anyway, so yeah, um, if you used to like Plong and kind of thought they lost the plot a bit, um, I fully recommend you fucking grab this. Cause it's that's the cover. Ah, oh, there we go. Absolutely brilliant. Will it be a mere endless? Who knows? I haven't done it yet, so. Uh, but yeah, fucking great new plong album, kind of 2023. Right, next up. 
Uh, hang on a minute. Let's get rid of that. Go away, go away, go away. No. Uh, yes, we'll stay in New York City. Uh, as you can see, I'm trying something different. I'm actually trying to play it on me. Play music on YouTube on the laptop. So if I get the odd fucking advert, sorts about that. I couldn't be asked putting an album on and then having to turn it over. And I said, still haven't got my CD player up here. So this is Clomag's second album, Best Wishes. Um, an absolute classic. Um, which I didn't have on vinyl and picked up with the issue. This came out, I think it was originally came out. Uh, uh, 89, I think. You can see, it's a, one of these shitty horrible splatter clear with. I'm not a fan of them, but there you go. The music account doesn't affect the fucking sound of the music, so that'll do me. Just very pleased to have this fucker on. On an album. I say limited. Crystal clear vinyl with multicolored splatter. Yeah, there you go, that's the hype sticker. Anyway, look, just feast on that cover. What an awesome cover that is. Lovely stuff. Sorry. So I'm whistling through these because I'm fucking tired and stuff. All right, next up, um, pick this up. Iggy and the Stooges. Can't remember the figgy. I know Iggy's obviously American. Is he from New York as well? Can't remember. Uh, this is Death Trip, which is basically um, the Law Power demo. So it came out sort of seventy three ish, just before the. These are the the demos for the album for Law Power. Uh, just, there's nothing inside it. Uh, this is a limited edition of eight hundred. On colour vinyl, that's number 747. See that down there. Uh, and the colour is lead. Good ship. Um, Low Power is obviously a classic punk album. Um, and it sounds like you expect a fucking demo for the punk album. Sounds low, it's nasty. Hey, I love it. Right. Ah. Next up. Um, we're listening to the Exploited at the moment, so I thought I'd show some other Exploited stuff. Picked up a vinyl copy of Totally Exploited. Uh, this originally came out in 1984 to comp, best of comp. This is the 2018 Radiation Records licensed by Cherry Records. The issue, so it's all the cool shit, up to 84. Um, obviously they were around the, it's got, Punk's Not Dead on it, what more do you want? Um, and a load of stuff off the earlier albums. Great. Um, just, I don't know. No. Black vinyl, black vinyl. Awesome stuff. If you like UK punk, it sounds like UK punk. Oh, another bloody advert. I could do without these adverts. Go away. Look at that. Right. Next up, note your copy of the Exploited Troops of Tomorrow. Okay, so a couple of the tracks off there. Best of comp. Uh, Troops of Tomorrow itself is a vibrators cover. Uh, it's got Sid Vicious and Innocent on here. I think things like USA and Jimmy Boyle were on the best of comp. This is obviously because it's no G. That's the original. You got this for the steal off uh, eBay. It's like fucking 15 quid. Can't go long. Bloody great album. Um, say it's an original secret records black vinyl. Great stuff. Sounds awesome. Cleaned up nicely. Uh, when did that fucker come out? 
Da, 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 da. Very hardcore UK, 1982. Yeah, and the best of us, 85. And last but by no means least, I got a couple of. Um, I actually went to see this band, Buzzcocks, about a month ago. Played in local town in Lexham. So this is Singles Going Steady. Uh, cool booklet with it. Single look. The singles, that's the title. Singles and B sides. And the original on the inner sleeve. This is the issue. Um, that's the black vinyl, and the hype sticker says. Um, Sourcing the original masters for all Buzzcocks' first eight singles and B-sides. The career-defining compilation at last sounds the way it was supposed intended. Uh, includes stunning essay from Punk Authority, Quinton Hydlian. Uh, this is half-speed mastered for the ultimate sonic experience. And there was a download code as well. So Buzzcocks uh, includes stuff like Orgasm Addict, What Do I Get, and obviously Ever Fallen In Love. Um, whatever happened to fucking great, really good stuff. And then finally, um, from Ireland, I'd say that they exploited the Scottish, probably didn't. Buzzcocks are English and from Northern Ireland, or well, they could be Southern Ireland, I can't remember. They're Irish, I know that. Apologies for not knowing my geography. Uh, Stiff Little Fingers, inflammable material, an absolute classic album. Oops. It's a trap listing. Um, obviously, it's got suspect device, state of emergency, um, barbed wire love, white noise, breakout, law and order, alternative holster. What a fucking song, alternative holster. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, originally came out seven, 1979. This is a 2019 the issue uh, with the lyrics. Just a class, another classic punk knock album. Um, always love stiff little fingers. First punk rock single I heard was You Can't Say Crap on the Radio and what's the A side called? Was it Alternative Ulster possibly? Can't remember, but it was a stiff little finger single anyway. We didn't have my mate's house. Awesome shit. Really cool. So there you go, that's a quick punky blongy update. I need a pee and a drink. Uh, there you go, another advert, so that can bugger off the music in the background. Um, yeah, um, I'll get another video done at the weekend, probably a death metal update. Uh, also, Sunday night between eight and nine ish, myself, um, Matt from Alters of Madness, and Dave, Kevin Ascani's 213 on Dave's channel, will be doing um, the sort of a the third one in our like series of um live streams um the previous ones we've done a grindcore one showing 15 grindcore albums and our couple of our favorites of all time just albums that we just want to show um the last one we did a few weeks ago was a, de a black metal one same sort of thing 15 albums and then you your favorite black metal album of all time one or two of them uh, and we thought we'd do a death metal one this Sunday, so that should be cool. Pop over, see in the comments and all that sort of thing. Uh, I said I'll get a video out and remind you fuckers again. Um, yeah, um, I need to sleep now. Ta! -da. Catch you later. Ah, uh, do I stop it?